Hello everyone, thanks for checking out my video. So I just wanted to give you a quick tutorial on how to use Awesome Miner and Mining Pool Hub to mine crypto with your CPU. It's pretty basic and it's almost like anybody who has Windows and a desktop computer can do it. Um, and is really more or less for those who don't have high-end equipment. So if you don't have a really nice graphics card and you just kind of want to get your feet wet with crypto, this may be a good opportunity for you to start and then kind of move forward with making a, a more significant purchase in you know, GPU or whatever down the road, stuff like that. So without further ado, let's get on with it. First thing I want to show you is the coin that we'll be mining, and that's called Electronium. The reason I'm picking this coin is because it uses the Crypto Knight algorithm, and that is probably one of the better algorithms that you can mine right now. A lot of processors actually get a pretty decent hash rate using Crypto Knight. Um, another popular coin that uses the same algorithm is Monero. The reason why we're not going to mine Monero is because um, the cost of Monero is around $380, at least as of the making of this video, and um, the cost of Electronium is only $0.08. Cents. So when you're not going to have a whole lot of hashing power, um, you will amass more Electronium coins per day than you will than you ever will with Monero. I mean, it's just because the cost of Monero is so much higher. Um, it's been around a longer time. The same goes for Ethereum and I don't know, Vert coins, some of these other coins that have been around for a while. So um, this one is probably going to be one of the best opportunities for um, low hash rates CPU mining and that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Now you may find a different coin and that's perfectly fine, okay? I mean, I'm not like here to push this on you. I'm just saying that this is a great introduction, okay? So let's go with that. Number one, so the first thing we have to do on this site is sign up w and get a wallet. Um, that way we can uh, have somewhere to store the, the coins that we mine, okay? So we'll go here to where it says login. And of course, I'll put links in the description so it's easy to find all this stuff. But um, after you click on login, then you'll see where it says um, sign up. So just click on sign up, type in your email and a password and, and, and make yourself a new account with Electronium. Once you do that, then you'll see your wallet QR like th this will take you to a dashboard basically and you'll have your wallet QR and the wallet address here all right so um, save this we're going to need it for setting up mining pool hub okay um, that's step one out of the way step two is going over here to miningpoolhub.com and uh, if you haven't signed up already sign up so uh, make sure you pick a username that you remember that you because we're going to retype that again later. Um, secure password, put your email in, and this pin is really handy because it it requires you to put your pin in every time you change something important. So if you change like a wallet address, for in instance, um, the pin is really important. Uh, you can't change it without that. So um, pick a number that you're not going to forget. All right, cool. After you sign up and log in, this will be the main page, and you'll see over here on the left-hand side all of the pools that are offered on Mining Pool Hub. This is what's great about this site is because so many coins are in one spot, and I can mine pretty much any one of these, and the pool fee is really low. Take a look. It's only 0.9%. It even says here, lower than any other pools. So um, that's another great reason to use Mining Pool Hub because keep in mind, if we're using our CPU, we got to save money. we got to save as much money as possible. So that's a really low fee. And then over here on Electronium, if we click this page, this will basically show us all that we need to get the mining software set up. So we've got our server settings here, the address and port numbers and stuff like that. Um, what we need to do is add our wallet to this. So click on underneath here where it says my account, click on wallet. And then where it says pool account details, it says payment address. Um, we want to go to our Electronium wallet and copy that address and put it right here. So let's go over to Electronium and you see in the wallet where it says click to copy, this is on the right hand side, it says uh, click to copy, so we copy that, alright, and then we'll go over here and paste it in to where it says payment address. 
All right, and the only other thing to consider then is um, how often you want to be paid out. Now this will do it automatically, um, but basically uh, you have to look at the fee here, which is 0 0.03 ETN. Um, so, so basically if I, if I took out one electronium, I would pay 0 0.03 of that, which is three cents or 3% of one. Um, I set mine to two, which then this is no longer 3%, now it's one and a half percent. So I think that makes a lot of sense for CPU mining. Um, you could set it higher if you want, but that means it'll just sit there longer. Um, and if you have the potential to mine, I don't know, two or three of these a day, I mean, setting it to two is pretty good. So, um, and that lowers the fee to one and a half percent. So I'm gonna leave mine at two. Uh, you go ahead and put in your four digit pin here and click update account. Now, that means your, if, uh, electronium addresses here you're going to get paid out every two coins all right and then of course that'll take out that small transaction fee so that's pretty much all we have to do over here on mining pool hub I'm going to go back to the news page because we're going to use these server settings for awesome miners so let's go ahead and move on to step three awesome miner Okay, on the Awesome Miner page here, the one that we're going to want to download is this top one here, the Awesome Miner installer. That's the full program. Uh, so go ahead and click on that, download the, the latest version of that. And let me show you my little itsy bitsy mining machine. Already I have Awesome Miner running here with my GPU, but we're going to go ahead and set this up for CPU mining. And after you install Awesome Miner, you'll probably see this box it'll be like this add new miner okay so what we'll do is click on next and you have four choices here the choice that we want for the CPU will be called managed miner so we click that and then go next and then we're gonna name this whatever we want I'm gonna call it CPU alright we can leave miner host as is and we don't need to set up a device profile just click on next all right, now this page, we're gonna do a little fine tuning. The first thing is the algorithm. And on your version of Awesome Miner, you will probably have way more algorithms here than I do. I've mine set up so that only these three appear. Um, that's, don't even worry about that, just find Crypto Knight, okay? That's the algo we're going for. The next thing is click on Buy Coin, and we are gonna go ahead and put this on Electronium. Whoop, did I pass it? Yeah, here it is, ETN, click OK. And what we've done by picking that coin is we've told Awesome Miner that the coin we're mining is ETN, so it will give us the more accurate readout of what we're actually mining of that coin. The next step is to go to software here. So let's click on the down arrow here and you'll see all of these have AMD GPU or Nvidia GPU. So most of these are miners for GPU, but there is one here called CPU miner OPT. That's the one we want to select so we can use our CPU, all right? And then the last thing that we'll do is where it says pool here, you can see I already have one for Electronium, but you won't have any if you just installed this. Just click on new and new pool. All right, and now we're going to add our new pool for Electronium. So let's think of a nice description. How about um, mining pool hub dash ETN dash CPU. This way I know that pool is CPU. All right, and, and here's where we need to get the, the address from Mining Pool Hub. So we'll go over here to Mining Pool Hub on the Electronium Pool on the main page. It says right here, here are the server info for several regions. So we've got US, Europe, and Asia. So I'm just going to take the one here for the US. All right, I'm going to copy that whole address. We've got the whole address and the port number. All right, we're going to go back over here and paste it into the server URL, all right? Now, remember in Mining Pool Hub when I said you have to remember your username? This is why. On the worker name, what you what you use is username.workername, okay? So whatever username you used on Mining Pool Hub, you're going to type that in. For me, it's Goose Tech. All right, and remember this is case sensitive. So if you used upper and lower case, make sure that 
it matches, all right? And then put a dot and name your computer. So for me, this is Itsy Bitsy CPU. That way I know, okay, it's the CPU miner. All right, the worker password is X and optional settings is coin. We're gonna do the same thing as we did in the other thing um, where you actually select what coin you're mining. So I'm gonna put this on ETN um, just so that the readout is as accurate as possible. So we'll click on okay. There we go. So now that's everything. Crypto Knight, Electronium, we've got our CPU miner on and we've got now our new pool for Electronium. Go ahead and click on next and finish. Great. So you can see here now I've got this new miner. It says stopped because it's not running yet. But before we can mine with a CPU, um, we're probably going to have to make a little adjustment to our antivirus software. For some reason, um, CPU mining is uh, detected by most antivirus software as a Trojan. And I think the reason is because a while back, there were some um, websites that were um, actually like stealing CPU power from people who visited the page. So like if you visit this website, it would actually start using your CPU to mine Monero. Um, and so I think a lot of those, whatever those programs were, got flagged uh, by virus software. And now it's basically made it so it's really tough to mine with your CPU. Um, you can do your own research on this. Uh, but the best way to avoid any type of antivirus error messages from Awesome Miner is to just add the the folder that has all of the miners in it to your um, exclusions. Okay, so I have Windows Defender here, so I'm just going to go ahead and open Windows Defender up, and then I go to Virus and Threat Protection, and then right here where it says Virus and Threat Protection Settings. If I go to the bottom, there's a spot here for exclusions, which says add or remove exclusions. So just click on that, and then you can click the plus sign here for add, and go to folder. And the reason we're going to add a folder is because all the mining software is in one place. So if we approve that one folder, then it's not going to give us any problems. All right, so the folder is easy to get to. All you got to do is type in percent app data percent and then hit enter. All right, and you'll see here, it puts us in the roaming folder. We don't want that. We want the app data folder. So click on app data, and then you see how it says local here? Click on, double click local. All right, and now when we're inside here, it says awesome miner. That's the folder that has all the mining software for your GPU, your CPU, everything is all here. So we wanna exclude this one, so that way we don't get any antivirus flagging and stuff like that because it, it, it'll just totally block your software. So I click on select folder and then click yes and now it's here. So um, that's all you got to do there. So if everything else is right, we should be able to start mining with our CPU just by clicking the start button. There we go. And as you can see here, it is starting a stratum here with 40,000 as my difficulty. So as you can see, my total hash rate has shown up about 40 hashes per second. Now, granted, this is an, a lower end um, AMD APU, so it, it's not gonna give me the greatest hash rate. Um, but look at this, it's 16 cents per day. Now remember, Electronium is about eight cents for one coin. So I can expect to bring in about two coins per day. Hey, that's something. It's not a lot, but it's something. And who knows, down the road, if Electronium really goes up, then those handful of coins that you make every day could be actually worth something. So I think that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, I hope you found this video helpful. Um, do check out the Electronium site. There's a lot that you can learn about this coin. Um, they're one of the most successful startups in crypto. So uh, I think that they have a really good potential for future growth. Uh, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If not, well, I understand. Uh, be sure to hit subscribe and ring the bell. I'll be 
bringing you more and more videos as we continue our journey together here on the Goose Tech channel, looking for just new and interesting ways of getting involved with crypto. So thanks so much for watching. Take care. God bless.